the hero has faced a major defeat and are at their lowest point. They reflect on their journey and realise what they need to do next. The 11 o'clock number is the conclusion to the emotional character arc. It should reflect the I Want song and the Becoming song. The hero comes to the realisation that they no longer want to finish their journey if it means people will get hurt. That's not what I wanted! It's the only way to achieve what you want! His solution is a lie! No one here deserves to die! Jeremy tried offering a script to Christine, but when she refused, he starts questioning his actions. He realises it's too far when the script plans to take over the entire student body. JD reveals his plans to blow up the school. Veronica realises that this isn't what she wanted and needs to stop him. The hero may have read fairy tales as a child. Now when they face the real world, they realise that life isn't like those stories. You've never read a book like this. I was looking for a fairy tale and dove head first into his. Shrek crashes Fiona's wedding to confess his love. He sings that he isn't the typical Prince Charming and that fairy tales should be updated. Anna needs an act of true love to thaw her heart, but Hans reveals how he never loved her. Anna was desperate for love, but realises that it doesn't happen like in fairy tales. In the lowest moments of the journey, the hero comes to the realisation that they should experience everything life has to offer. Don't be afraid of death, Winnie. Be afraid of not being truly alive. You gotta love a lot. Winnie is thinking about drinking the spring water so she can live forever like the Tucks. Pa Tuck takes her out fishing to tell her that they are stuck in time and life is worth living because of death. Phil starts trying new experiences like learning piano. Then every night, Phil keeps trying to save the homeless man. Ned's slogan now takes on a new meaning. You've got to love life. The hero was hurt by an ally. They need space and time so they can heal from the pain. Wish I could stay. Tara learns that Willow cast a spell on her to remove her memory. She has no way of knowing how many times this has happened before, so she decides they need to break up. Gabriella talks to Troy about blowing off his friends to focus on his promotion. She was expecting to spend more time with him, so decides to leave the club. During the journey, the hero learns they can label themselves however they want, instead of how others see them. Hans and Wesselton's men are approaching to apprehend Elsa. She realises that fear caused her powers to outburst, and fear is why everyone thinks she's a monster. Elsa won't be the monster everyone thinks she is. Gary forgot his 10th anniversary with Mary because he was helping Walter and the Muppets. He realises he has to be a man. Meanwhile, Walter realises he is a Muppet. In the darkest hour, the protagonist loses faith in themselves. They need to be reminded that they have the potential to be a hero. There's no mountain so great that you belong right here. You wouldn't have to go. Nala wants Simba to return home, but he refuses his rightful place as king. Mufasa appears to remind him that he is so much more than what he has become. Callahan kissed Elle, and when she rejected his advances, he fired her. She wants to return home to her old life, but Emma ensures her that she belongs at Harvard. The protagonist reveals the horrible things they've done. They explain their actions and apologise. So I just stand here, sorry, searching for something to say. And then just ask for forgiveness from the people who you heard along the way. Evan admits to writing the letter himself. He was never friends with Connor. He explains how he wanted to be a part of something, and the Murphys accepted him into their lives. Lee feels guilty because she is pretending to be Sophia. She dreads the thought of the real Sophia coming home, so decides to tell the truth. The hero goes through the story events that led up to their situation. It even makes reference to being the 11 o'clock number. It's 11 o'clock, 
11 o'clock. How did it begin? He walked into my office with his cockamamie scheme. Rebecca had a dream showing her unhappy with all three love interests. She needs to figure out who she is and starts by singing references to the songs from the series. Max was arrested for tax fraud while Leo eloped to Rio. Max goes through all the major song moments leading up to his eventual betrayal. A character learns of an enemy and realizes that the only way they can win is if they rally together and fight. We must come the of war. They're savages, savages. We're not coming home till he's dead. Good and dead. Ratcliffe rallies his men to fight, to rescue John, and to find non-existent gold. Meanwhile, Chief Powhatan rallies his men to fend off the invaders. Both sides believe the others to be savages. Belle showed the existence of the beast using the mirror. When Belle shows that she likes him, Gaston rallies the town together to hunt down and kill the beast. For a villain's story, when they think they've won, they reveal their plan to the hero. Prince Ali, yes it is he, but not as you know him. Jafar stole the lamp and wishes to become Sultan. Jasmine refused to bow, so his second wish is to be an all-powerful sorcerer. He then reveals Prince Ali's true identity and sends him off to a distant land. The squib tells Jeremy that the fault lies with his peers. If all the students take orders from the squib, then no one would make any more mistakes. The realization should offer a solution towards the challenges that a character is facing. Learning from the journey is what makes a character a hero. Thanks for watching. In the comments, write your favorite 11 o'clock number. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos.